Hello everyone and welcome back to the Citadel with me, Grand Maester Stitch. It has been a long time since our last series. We have done some of the streams which you may have seen over the coming days to announce my return to the channel. And for our first series we are going to be playing as Lord Mern of Aldenly of House Old Flowers. Now, I'm guessing a lot of you will know already what the plan for this series is just by the house that we're choosing in Old Flowers. But there may be some of you who um, have a life like on, uh, unlike a lot of us and don't know as much of the lore of A Song of Ice and Fire. So for those of you, um, I will explain who this character is and who this house is. Our house words are evergreen. We are placed here just near the mouth of the Manda, just below High Garden, sworn directly, I believe, to the Tyrells of High Garden. And for those who don't know, House Old Flowers is a very old cadet branch of the extinct house gardener, the kings of the reach before the days of the Targaryen conquest. Of course, they were all wiped out in the field of fire by Aegon Targaryen and his dragon Balerion. And then after that, um, house gardener was replaced with their stewards, house Tyrell. Apparently there's another house. Oh yeah, Gardener and Old Flowers. They're the two branches of this cadet house. So, as you've probably guessed already by now, something that we can do with Lord Mern, who is of House Old Flowers. If we go over here in the decisions, we can choose to revive House Gardener. Before then, we've got a lot of work to do. But, yep, the aim of this series is to restore House Gardener to their previous glory through the cadet branch of House old flowers so yeah we've got a lot to do to get there and it's going to be interesting it's going to be fun i don't think we've ever really played in the reach on any series i've ever done on this channel i don't know how we've managed to not do that in five years but apparently we haven't not off the top of my head i believe we may have entered into the reach in our house dame playthrough many many moons ago but yeah i'm pretty sure we haven't played as a reach house so this should be quite interesting so yeah as i said we're here we are down in this lordship so we own all of this land here we our capital white hand castle we have a small city of whittington right next door where we have master orbert so just a lowborn 152 men so nothing to write home about we have a castle here province of alden keep which is our vassal lord roland probably a landed knight of house honeytree Nice name. Love the sigil. Really, really nice sigil. Um, we have another city here. City of Aldenley. With Master Gwain, another lowborn. We have the province of Formbush. Who do we have here? House Formbush. Another interesting name. And then one more city over here. The city of Loud Shield. Master Oliver. And the province of Greenaway which belongs to us that is our second castle so we have two of our own castles in our very modest land here which is part of the high garden high lordship oh and then we do have a bit of is that land technically technically part of the honey land so we do have a little bit of land here which is interesting so we've got room to expand into we can't restore house gardener without having high garden and of course we aren't just going to be able to rush out and take house uh, take high garden that would be a little bit unrealistic. Uh, I have started in the latest bookmark. We have got, so we will have Bobby B on the Iron Throne. We're in the Crown Stag bookmark. Uh, and I do have the sub mods of Canon Children. So we should get a lot of the characters that you guys know and love being born into this series, which should be interesting. But uh, yeah, let's um, stop blabbering and get into it. So here we are as Lord Mern, the 19 year old Lord of Whitehand Castle. He is fickle arbitrary greedy and deceitful he's an adequate bargainer a knight and a trained fighter so he's at least got some ability we've got no stewardship but we do have 12 diplomacy and 14 intrigue so we can maybe play with one of those two good traits uh to have for such a low house i suppose they'd be a lot more helpful for us we do have a wife already lady meredith of allen lee who is of the house conklin um She's got pretty decent stewardship, so that's good. At least she can help us in that. She's diligent, stubborn, temperate, an incompetent commander and a forder. She does have two siblings, Mark Conklin, our brother-in-law, who is a knight in our court, and a sister as well, Sylvina Conklin, uh, Conklin, who is also in our court. And we do have two 
younger brothers. We have Otho, old flowers, a 16-year-old skilled fighter knight. So that's a very decent character to have in our court, who obviously is our heir at the moment. I'm pretty impressed with him, to be fair, actually. He's brave, just and honourable. A skilled tactician, a knight, and a skilled fighter. Very nice character. I'm already liking Otho instantly. Pretty much instantly liking him. Uh, we do need to make sure that we can get... Oh, he's bisexual. Interesting. Uh, we do need to make sure that we can get plenty of little old flowers running around. So we've got plenty of heirs and spares. Keep that gardener blood flowing. Make sure we've got plenty of claims for that. Uh, and then we have Gowan Old Flowers, our youngest brother, who is more diplomacy and stewardship focused. So we've got everything covered, really, with the three Old Flower brothers. Uh, he's brave, trusting, and rowdy. 14 years old, so we could probably do with getting him a guardian as quickly as possible. Try and do something with him before it's too late. He doesn't have too long left, really. Um, do we have anyone of interest in our court? Garth Old Flowers and Adam Old Flowers are uncles. So we also have two uncle Old Flowers as well. So we've got plenty of Old Flowers about. Garth Old Flowers is shy, generous, patient, indulgent, wastrel, a knight, and a trained fighter. So nothing to write home about, but at least it is <clears throat> someone in the Old Flowers household. And then we have Adam Old Flowers, our other uncle, who is gluttonous, lustful, shy, skilled tactician. So that's fairly useful, I suppose. An open terrain expert, a knight, and also a trained fighter. Um, let's have a look if we have anybody else of interest in our court. Um, a decent spy master, maybe here. She already is our spy master, apparently. Um, someone here with decent martial arts, sister in law. Um, a couple of random courtiers who don't seem to be anything special to write home about, but at least we've got something. We've got. Um, Jaffa, a knight, who's a honey whiner, trained fighter, gracious envoy, but he is brave and honourable, which is nice to see. So it looks like we have got some at least um, loyal household guards and knights around us, which is nice to see. It's not very often that happens. Um, a couple of other random courtiers who are not particularly anything special, and a septon. So eh, we've got an okay court. We can do stuff with that. Let's have a look at our lifestyle focus. So apparently we've already gone for the diplomacy. It was going to be diplomacy or intrigue that I did go for. So let's... Hmm, let's go with diplomacy for now then. Just because we've already got something in it. We may as well. Foreign affairs. One can never have too many friends near or far. Uh, regality flows from ritual tradition and glory for the majesty focus and family focus. I think we will go for the foreign affair focus. I think we're going to need to make a lot of friends and allies. If we are going to restore ourselves to the former glories of House Gardener. So we'll go along with that. We have an unmarried heir. We need to choose a patron aspect. We can host a grand tourney, but we're not going to do that for now. Petition lead, request a loan from the Iron Bank. Uh, send for a maester from the Citadel. Yeah, we will do that. We could do with having a maester, really. But as for these other decisions, we're not going to do anything with those for now. Choose a patron aspect. Uh, I'm not really sure where I'd want to go with that just yet, so we'll be leaving that alone. We will try and find an heir for our son. We can declare a war on Arch and Matrio of Tyrosh. Um, and why is that? Has a stronger on what what is this war about? Free slaves of Ty oh, just to get involved with slavery. Well, we're not going to be doing that. Um can station men at arm regiments. What men at arm regiments do we have? We have some crossbowmen. So yeah, we may as well station them in our capital aren't we we may as well make use of them nothing too special it'd be good if we can get some mounted knights what sort of men at arm regiments can we make i'm hoping for a lot of armored knights and summer knights yes yeah, so we can make some very good um horsemen which we will be doing once we can afford it light footmen light horsemen hand messengers armored horsemen summer knights armored footmen bowmen crossbowmen pikemen battering rams managonels uh onagers and trebuchet so we can make lots of different interesting men at arm regiments we have 1500 soldiers which isn't too bad i suppose we won't be able to do a lot with it but we won't be doing a lot like that for now anyway we're going to be doing a little bit of role playing we're going to be doing things a little bit more diplomacy focused make some friends with some of our neighbors and such obviously house hightower and red win are pretty much not going to be of any help to us at all with them being married into the tyrells but the florence could be very useful a house that doesn't really like the Tyrells either, along with a lot of these other ancient houses. So we might be able to do something there. 
Uh, is there any other decisions that we can make? Petition liege, request a loan, recruit gardener, uh, peruse artifact market, adopt a set of personal arms, invite knights, take a vow of poverty. There's a few things that we can do, but nothing that I'm going to look into for now. Stuff that we can maybe look into in the future. We do need to sort our council out. Let's have a look. So we, our wife was very good at stewardship, wasn't she? So she can manage our domain. Our castellan is Mark Conklin, who is our brother-in-law at the moment, and he is overseeing the realm. Our chancellor is Lord Danton of House Thornbush. Do we have a better chancellor? We actually do. Our brother-in-law, Mark, but he's our hand of the king, so we could probably leave him there unless we were to swap these two. What is Lord Danton good at? Well, that's about what he's best at anyway, so we probably will leave him there. But we do have better, better chancellors. The fact that he's a vassal may upset him, though. But we'll leave him doing foreign affairs for now. We won't look into that. Uh, Lord Roland is a terrible steward, so we do need to improve that. We've got Master Anson of Peatbridge. Lord Dan... Oh, we could swap him with Lord Danton. Is he any good at diplomacy? Oh, God, no, he's got zero diplomacy. So Lord Honeytree is definitely... He's pretty useless, to be honest, isn't he? Um, our Master at Arms is Master Orbit. Let's have a look. We've probably got a much better Master at Arms than that. Um, we've got our 16-year-old brother on our air, who is a decent knight and a skilled fighter, so he might not be too bad to be our Master at Arms. Um, what a couple of other Masters, Lord Danton. Do you know what? Yeah, I will. We'll assign our younger brother and heir as our Master at Arms. Keep him happy. Our Spy Master is Desmira. I'm pretty sure she was the best one we've seen in the court a minute ago. Anyway, yeah, we an admiral. I suppose we are technically on the manda, so we can have an admiral. There's not anyone that we have who's valid for that. And then we have our Septon Paxter at the moment. We won't do much else for our courtiers or such. Who is on our Lord Paramount's council? So his wife, he hasn't got a Castellan at the moment. Uh, Garth the Gross Tyrell is his steward. Lord Mathis Rowan is his spy master with free intrigue. Interesting. Um, Lord Crane as his master at arms. Lady Oakheart as his chancellor. Lord Paxter Redwin, of course, as admiral. Okay, so there's room for us to maybe go into the Lieges Council. We won't do anything with these courtier things for now just because they cost a lot of money. I suppose we could have a captain of the household guard, you know, actually. We could go for um, our knight here. Jaffa, do you know what? We will do that. Powerful agent in hostile schemes. And diplomacy, diplomacy for her level of fame for our master at arms. But we do have to pay for our master at arms as well. But I am tempted just to go for our brother for that as well. And then we'll leave the other ones empty as of now until we get more income. Um, we will get into the game at some point. I just like to set up. I'm a little bit slow at setting up. So I do apologise for that. We do need to get our brother and heir a match. And we want it to be somebody that's going to give us a powerful alliance, to be honest. And I'd also like to have somebody who is um, Faith of the Seven. Um, gender, female. Adult. Well, I suppose he's 16, so we could go for someone younger. That doesn't really matter so much. Alliance. Yeah, we want someone who's going to give us an alliance. Hmm, they don't have to be a ruler. We want to gain prestige if we can. Inheritable traits, if possible. Yeah, we may as well chuck that in there as well. And then we can find the best possible match, can't we? Linessa Hightower looks very promising. I know I said about the Hightowers not being the best one because they're in with the Tyros. But maybe if we've got an alliance with them as well, it keeps them out of anything that we do do with the Tyros, I suppose. Because that looks like a very, very promising match, doesn't it? It's got the beautiful trait as well. Gregorus, Greedy. Hmm. Is that the girl that marries Jorah? I believe it is, isn't it? Definitely the best one. For, for the moment. So we'll, we'll keep her to one side while we look for some other options. Um... Let's get rid of the inheritable trait, just all, to see if there are any better ones for alliances. We've got the Rowans, but there's too much of an age gap there, really. Royces are way too far away. Hmm. Let's look at Rich Reachman. 
Ashford's, Caswell, Footley Ball. So, yeah, there's not a lot of options. There's the Ashfords, but it doesn't... Oh, no, she's the daughter of Lord Leo of House Ashford, so she's a possibility for our other son, but I think... I think the best one is definitely going to be... Um, Lady Hightower over here, isn't it? By far. By far. And she's a honey whiner rather than a Reachman as well, so I didn't... This is a better alliance, apparently, but I think the age gap's too much there. We'd be waiting too long. So, uh, yeah, we're going to send off for Liness Hightower to marry into Otho Howflowers. Uh, a grand wedding? Can't really afford it. He will accept, apparently. So let's send that proposal for that son. And then... Uh, that brother, sorry. And then we do have our younger brother, who's very good at diplomacy and very good at stewardship. So we'll probably go with a diplomacy focus. Let's try and... Um, find him a guardian we can educate him ourselves, but well we do have decent diplomacy ourselves, i suppose 15 diplomacy so i suppose we could do it um i'd like to send him off to another lord if possible what's lord alistair florent got at stewardship what other lords do we have down in the reach lord layton isn't that great. Uh, what about Lord Beesbury? 16 diplomacy. Let's have a look. Um, let's try and find some characters in the Reach who are um, inside our diplomatic range with high diplomacy. Adult, of course, because we want to be able to. Um, yeah, we want a, a ruler. Faith of the Seven. Preferably Reachman, but it's not not um, a necessity if we can find someone better. John Aaron, it'd be interesting to send him off to the Vale or off to the capital to be um, to be fostered under Lord John Aaron. That could be interesting. I don't think he'd be uh, willing to do that, but we can offer. Offer him a ward in our brother and see if he'd uh, say yes. I didn't think he would, but you've got to aim high. You've got to aim high. You never know, do you? It's worth a try. What about Hosta Tully? He was a another option, wasn't he? Would he be willing to... Oh. Would he be willing to take our brother as a ward? No. So we're going to have to try and find one in the reach, aren't we, instead then, maybe? Maybe not necessarily a ruler. Maybe all. Who we got? Who's good at diplomacy and um, and or heritage? Uh, Lady Anna Inoaks, Janella Silverfield. Well, that's way too far away. Someone in the reach would be better if possible. Harren Hall, Grandview, Cockles, Wen, Lord Leo of House Ashford. Twenty-two diplomacy. Would he be willing to? take our brother as a ward he will perfect and then we could probably marry him to arrange a marriage between him and his daughter that that links up nicely it's like a uh, good for the role playing aspect of it so then we can get an uh, alliance of house ashford he can take our brother on as his ward they look like each other which is hilarious and yeah maybe we can arrange a betrothal between him and his young daughter delena ashford here Let's send that proposal off and see if it's going to come back to us. I don't know if we had any other courtiers that were young. We'll see if they're interested. We have a Maria Cock, um, Conklin. Nothing too much at the moment. We'll keep an eye on her and see how she develops. I don't think there was any other children in our court, was it? No, there wasn't at present. So we will finally unpause and get playing, guys. I do apologise for that very, very long start. But I know a lot of you do like it that when we go into those details and... We want to get things right and going departs for ashford perfect i would be happy to educate your brother going old flowers a noble upbringing for a noble spirit excellent let's have a look at his daughter then who's gluttonous honorable authoritative and curious um let's arrange a marriage between her 
that's going to have to be a betrothal, isn't it? Because technically he's underage, isn't he? Um, let's go back to our brother then. And uh, he's travelling to become a, host a hostage. I don't think he's going to become a hostage. So maybe we've got to wait for him to get there before we can arrange that. Uh, the new maester of Aldenly is Eric, who's an old god's northman. But he is intelligent. Maester, bastard, a scribe, impatient, gluttonous, and just 25 learning fortune. Yeah, he's good. Um, 20 gold improves his opinion. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that maester. He's a... Decent maester, a Northman, he's honourable. Alliance formed with Lord Leighton of Old Town. To the modest man, I gladly accept your betrothal proposition. Your brother Ofer will be betrothed to my daughter Lanessa. Excellent, perfect. Wait for our other brother to arrive at so and so. Captain Duncan of Den Maiden. Okay, free sl oh, slave. It's a slaver thing again. Try and ignore that if we can. Uh, to the impressive Mern, your brother Gowen has safely arrived in Cockleswent. And I shall begin his lessons forthwith. Very good. Can we now arrange a betrothal with your daughter? Which should be interesting. Can we? Or can we not? Yeah, we can now find a spouse. Perfect. Do we still have the same rules on as before? Yes, we do. Alliance power. Rowan, Rowan, Tarly, Royce. Where's the... Ashford girl gone. Lots of brackens, lots of phrase. I don't want to be getting involved with phrase if we can help it, unless she's already been married off now. Um, where's it gone? Culture, Reachman, Caswell, Caswell, Ellis, uh, Delana Ashford. There we go. I think that's a good match, and it makes sense considering we've now. Uh, sort of form some sort of little friendship there with them so that would be good if we could maybe make friends with lord ashford as well we're already probably going to get an alliance with him those actually so do we need to try and sway him any more than that possibly not if i'm honest so hopefully we'll get ourselves a son and heir soon or a daughter someone else that we can use as a bargaining chip to try and make another alliance and there we go alliance form with lord Elio of cockles went i gladly accept your betrothal proposition your brother going will be betrothed to my daughter delina signed lord leo of cockle went of house ashford perfect yeah i know we've got a patron aspect but i'm not really sure what i want to do with that for now we will go around and make some Characters important are Lord Paramount, of course. We'll make Lord Hightower important. He's pretty important as well. We'll make most of the lords around us important, actually. The bigger high lords. Cockle went. House Ashford's now going to be pretty important. Westerland Pox spread. I'm getting this in every playthrough at the moment, which is annoying. But I don't really want to turn it off because I do like to have the option of it. But it's annoying that it's happening every time straight away. Oakheart will make you important. As for the other kingdoms... We'll just go for the Lord Paramount. So Tywin. Um, Balon Greyjoy. Ned Stark. Bobby B, of course. Me, um, Lord Paramount Hosta. John Aaron. Stannis the Manis. And Young Renly. Oh, and don't forget Doran Martell. Did I already do Mace Tyrell? Yes, I did. Is there any other High Lords of importance that I've not done? Uh, we may as well go for the Roxtons as well. We've done the Rowans. We've got House Crane. I'll go. I'll go for most of the High Lords of of the um, of the Reach because they're all going to play a part, possibly, and hopefully be our vassals one day. So, and I like to see what's going on. House Merriweather, House Caswell, House Fossoway. The Doof House Foss away as well. Did I do Tarly? I don't think we've done Tarly. Yeah, we did, already did Randall Tarly. House Peak, just because it's House Peak. It's oh, House Ambrose. The Shields. And House Redwin. House Black Bar. Did Roxton. Done. That's our land. House Willem. House Viral. We do Manderford House Risley. Done ball. There we go. Uh, we may have missed one or two, but we'll soon come across them if we have. <clears throat> there any other interesting decisions that we can do? Petition liege for gift or service. 
And what do we have to do to revive House Gardener then? Many houses are said to descend from the legendary Garth Greenhand, none more prestigious than House Gardener. The last Gardener King, Mern the... Ooh, 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 ooh. Is that the ninth? 19th. And his kin were burnt alive at the Field of Fire in 1 BC. Ending the Gardener dynasty, their lands were given to House Tyrell, who had served loyally as their stewards. Perhaps it is time to bring back this once great dynasty with myself as its head. Effects, Garth Oldflowers becomes a member of House Gardener, Adam Oldflowers becomes a member of House Gardener, and so on, so on, so on. Requirements, you have the title of High Garden. Okay, so we need High Garden to do that. That's fine. It's probably going to be a little while until we get that, but Westland Pox has spread into province of Pebblewood. We have something that we can do, declare wars. Yeah, we're not going to be getting involved in that. We can create an accolade. I suppose we can let... Allowed you have to be a knight. He's already a knight, isn't he? So let's let's create an accolade. Why not? And we'll have Jaffa as the knight for this. Create the accolade. The knight of true honey winer virtue. Loyalty or fear. As their lord, my vassals owe me their allegiance. My word is law. But how much is obedience without devotion worth? In times of crisis, a slow response or a half-hearted effort can lead to disaster. Can I afford such a risk? I will win their unwavering loyalty. Fear is far more effective. I have more important men to impress. Lord Paramount Mace gains 20% opinion of you. Fear is far more effective. You gain 30 dread, but... Oh, one of our vassals lose opinion of us. I'll win their loyalty. We're arbitrary, so we gain 10 stress, but we get generous. Leech. We'll impress... We'll impress Mace. Keep him on side. Then he's unknowing of what we're getting on with. We're not endorsed by our Septon, so we need to do something about that with our council. What have we got everyone doing? So you're collecting taxes at the moment. You are disrupting schemes. Let's get you to find some secrets in High Garden. See if we can discover anything. Uh, train commanders. Organize army. We'll get you to train commanders for now. Um... Religious relations, fabricate clever. Now, we'll, we'll improve our religious relations for now because we need to make our Septon like us a little bit more. Maybe we try and sway him as a scheme just to improve things there for now. Um, oh, there's something kicking off, which is interesting. We'll have to have a look into that in a moment. And promote culture, increase development in county, collect taxes. We'll just collect taxes for now. There's still no one we can have as an admiral? No, not at present. So what's going on here? We've got some sort of war going on in the Reach. Pox is spreading more. Is House Tyrell at war with anyone? No. I did see the Ashfords, so... They are defending against Lord Alistair of Brightwater Keep in Brightwater de Jour War. Interest. Ah, so they're fighting against... The attackers of House Florent, along with House Crane and House Whitewater. And... On the other side, we have... Well, I've got more men, for starters. Uh, and they do have a couple of allies. They have several allies on the way, actually. So, it'll be interested to see how that goes. But it doesn't concern us. We're busy with our own things. They are fighting in the lands near us, which is annoying. But we're not going to get involved with anything like that for now. The Knight of True Honey Wine of Virtue needs a worthy successor. We don't have anybody worthy to be a successor at the moment could we maybe take on our own ward from somewhere let's have a look at our um vassal who we got here again lord roland doesn't have any vassals or anything at the moment can we arrange a marriage no nothing we can do nothing with him at all hopefully he'll marry on his own accord but i wouldn't be surprised if he doesn't we know what crusader kings is like maybe we could get a tyrell under us so we've got lord willis who is very good in diplomacy, better than us already. Um, I very much doubt, yeah, that we'd be allowed to take Willis on. Back Garland. No. Loris? We can offer guardianship to Loris. I don't know if we're the right person for him. We wouldn't accept anyway. What about Lady Marjorie? We'll not accept. I suppose we are too low down to think about that. Oh, what about the Tarleys, though? Samuel Tarley. Could we... We take Samwell 
as a ward. No, not willing at all to go along with that. Got the Florence. Do we have any young Florence? Not really. So we could take a high tower, maybe. Has he got any other younger high tower children? Gunther High Tower, Offian Guardianship. No, too. We're too low born for such things. House Roxton has his son Edwin Roxton, who is very good at diplomacy. Will not accept. Maybe we're gonna have to go for one of the smaller houses. What about House Peak? No younger people of House Peak. House. Ashford, he does have Danies Ashford, maybe we could swap children. They've took our child, we could take him. No. Fossaway, maybe? Maybe the smaller branch of house Fossaway. They may be willing because they're not as big of a house. Can we take him? No. Well, maybe we're not gonna be able to get a guardian for now then, so we'll leave that for now. Friendly exchange, offer old flowers gain 20% opinion of you. Nice. This happened despite your spouse's poor diplomacy skill. Well that's good that our brother likes us a little bit more. What have we got here? Invitation, uh, invitation to Lady Arwen's grand wedding. That's House Oakheart. Yes, we'll we'll definitely join and go there. Maybe we can make some friends or alliances. It's within the reach, so I think it would be a good idea for us to go to that. We don't need a caravan master. Travel option. Do we need to hire anyone? Circumspect modifier in your travel. Travel speed minus ten. Superior mounts for. No extra cost, but we can't take them. Do we want guards? Well, I don't think we'll need guards, will we? Do we really need to go all out with that? I don't think we do. Hostile scheme resistance. We may as well take that just to be safe then. We don't need a caravan master. Zero in entourage. We'll go for that just because we can. Customize our route. So we go from here. Okay, let's join her wedding and off we go for up to the Northern Reach. Grand wedding, a fresh start. My acquaintance, Lady Arwen, is hosting a grand wedding in Oakheart and time has come for us to depart. The ceremony will join her son and heir, Oliver, and acquaintance, Eleanor, in holy matrimony. Bless me. Bless me. I do need to guard both my back as well as my food during this visit, as Lady Arwen is a treacherous creature. Oh, well, that's uh, unfortunate. Widowed, delicate, honest, just, authoritative and calm. So she's marrying her son, Oliver Oakheart, to Eleanor Caswell. Okay, it's an interesting marriage. It's going to form alliances within the reach, and off we go. I entered into Regency. And Otho Old Flowers is my regency. That's that's good. That's who I'd want to have as my regent. Hopefully we make it to the wedding in time. As we traverse the highlands, trudging through the dirt, we encounter a modest wayward shrine. Naively carved, it sports a seven-pointed star at its head. And below the weathered words, Here lay St. Clement of Darkdale, blessed son of Graylin. St. Clement of Darkdale. It seems a local spiritual figure is being um, patronised in these parts. One not sanctioned by the faith of the seven devout. Cast down this her heterodoxy. Uh, saint Clement, there's a nice ring to it. You lose five gold. You patronise a local saint for ten years. Lord Clarence gains ten percent opinion of you. We'd better be going. No, let's um, let's put a bit of gold down. Travels to come. Journeying through Tangle Root Castle, I pass my peculiar-looking tent, splayed open, with yet more peculiar-looking occupant inside. Come in, almighty lord. I can tell you have many miles to go, and I can offer you a reading of your future travels for a modest price. The strange man has piqued the interest of my entourage, but am I willing to pay for a reading? Let's have a look at this guy. Which wise man, adequate bargainer, sadistic, authoritative, and generous. Tell me my future, wise one. We lose some... Oh, you gain 10 stress because you're greedy, but we lose 11 stress... If we get good omens, I'm not interested. Five gold. Let's let's have a go. You gain travel bad omens. Well, yes, of course we did. Because it's a Grand Maester Stitch played through. What can go wrong will go wrong. We've almost arrived at Oak Heart, though, at least. And here we are for the wedding. Uh, your intent, recreation, recreation is all we can go for, unfortunately. But we are here. 
Oh no, here we go. Murder, seduce, diplomacy, gain an alliance with the selected character even. Yeah, let's try and get some diplomacy. Greetings, Lord Mern of Aldenley. Despite our best efforts, my agents have yet to uncover any secret at Lord Paramount Mace's court. I would not be so certain. Keep going for now. Um, diplomacy target. Who have we got? Hmm. Lord Bennett of Orchard. Why? We could go for... Let's go for Lady Arwen herself. Let's see if we can improve relations with Lady Oakheart. Would make a worthy alliance if we could do it. Huge guest list. Fate smiles upon me. My wife, Lady Meredith, is bearing my child. I cannot wait to hold the baby in my arms. Perfect. Hopefully a son and heir. Add some more gardeners. And that actually reminds me that our uncles are both unwed. Can we arrange marriages? Is he refusing marriage? It looks like we can't do anything with Garth, our uncle Garth. Uh, what about Adam, old flowers? Or is it because we're currently not in court? Maybe because we're not in court at the moment. Maybe we can arrange something once we return home. Desmira finished the fine secrets task. Faction created against Lord Paramount Mace. And we'll have to look at that. So what? what is that faction? Against your liege. Military power is safeguarding their liege from enemy factions. Loyalist faction. Interesting. I have added even more sub mods onto this. Um, I've got quite a few sub mods now. Uh, I will put them down below in the description, the sub mods that we're using for this playthrough, as there is a fair few. How goes the wedding? Two months until it begins. Wow, we've got a long time till the wedding begins. Let's try and speed things along then. Our son will be born before the wedding at this point. Uh, Regent unsuccessfully furthers mandate. Disappointing, but what can you do? All right, so what should we get? Oh, you're still trying to find secrets. Hopefully you'll find a secret at some point. Our military power has gone up slightly. We do have a bit of gold. Can we um, do anything to improve our land? What do we currently have here? Cranks and connection rod. Let's construct a new building. What is the best for income? We can create some outposts to get some more manpower. Hill forts. But I'd rather get something that's going to give us more tax and income to be honest militia camps stables blacksmiths warrior lodges we don't have enough gold for a lot of these at present actually no no what i will do instead is what sort of man at arm regiment can we create nothing at present i want to go for these summer knights or armored horsemen so we'll we'll wait and build our wealth up hopefully we can gain some gold at some point How oh, fares the wedding? 12 days until it begins. I look around myself in excitement. Everywhere I lay my eyes on, there are mingling guests. Flowers on every surface, buzzing servants with loaded dishes, and a very proud host. Lady Arwen checking on the final details. The nervous but excited spouses, Oliver and Eleanor, are standing at ready. The ceremony is about to begin. I cannot wait. As the ceremony runs its course, I finally manage to place myself by Lady Arwen and to eager her in some small talk, which rapidly moves into a more interesting field, politics. We share some casual remarks until I lead her exactly where I wanted her. Sadly, we've had some bad harvests that set our growth back recently. A pity if someone took advantage of that, huh? It's good to have strong allies in time of need. Um, so you complete your diplomacy intent, we lose stress, she gains 20% opinion of us, and we get an alliance deal. 68% chance of that. Or we can gain a weak hook on her instead as she's intimidated, and we lose 50% stress because we're deceitful, but she loses opinion. I'd rather, even though it's a less chance, 68% chance is still pretty good. And if we can get another alliance, and then have an alliance with the Oak Hearts, the High Towers, and the Ashfords, that's pretty good. But even though it's 32% chance of fail, it's bound to happen. 
And yeah, Arwen doesn't trust you. She lost 10% opinion of his. I, I knew that would happen. <laughs> of course that happens. Maybe we should have been more deceitful. Never mind. Our Septon has been swayed though, which is good news. Hopefully we get another chance to try and do diplomacy with her. Captain improved. Awesome. Thanks to our men at arms. The wedding ceremony. The ceremony has finally reached its climax. The traditional rituals have been completed and all that's left is the final vows. The formal consent, the seal of the marriage. As both Oliver and Eleanor say, I do, the crowd starts cheering and we all stand witness to the beginning of their life together. Exciting. The formal part of the wedding the ceremony is finally behind us. Everyone is smiling in anticipation of a gargantuan meal, exciting entertainment and general revelry that we are about to be offered. Let's tuck in. Hopefully we get another chance to try and form an alliance, but we're going to have less chance, I imagine, now. Uh, featuring exotic treats, elaborate culinary artworks, and rich colours with richer scents, the banquet chefs have gone all out for the wedding. Near my seat, Lord Desmond and Lord Vortimer share their opinions about the spread. A good feast, I think, Chortles Desmond. Plenty of thought into making an experience, without losing sight of the important things. Mediocrity, Vortimer sniffs is the sign of a lack of ambition. I think I'm on your side, Desmond. Vortimer has the right idea. Not along without paying attention. We lose stress and Lady Arwen gains 15% opinion of us. But if we side with Desmond, Desmond gains opinion of us. House Verwell, House Caswell. So I'd rather make House Caswell happy. But if we just nod along without paying attention, we make Lady Arwen happy and that's our target so we'll go with that a magnificent throng of musicians tumblers and actors are providing the, uh, the evening's entertainment thrilling guests across the hall near my seat both Lord Owen and Lord Vortimer share their opinions on the display ah the perfect amount of merriment to provide I think laughs Owen Honestly, I had expected a little more hustle and bustle from the event, Vortimer sniffs. My god, you don't half put a downer on things, Lord Vortimer, don't you? My goodness. Owen clearly has the right of it. I'm focused on the actual entertainment. Lady Arwen gains 50% opinion of us. We lose stress. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Greetings, Lord Mern of Aldenley. Despite our best efforts, my agents have yet to uncover any secrets. Let us waste no more time. Every feast, there's always one. Every single feast. One long-winded, ill-born, pissant, cor uh, cornering people who will just not be silent. This time, it's Lywin, and he's relentless. I've tried every topic I can think of. I've tried disengaging. I've tried getting others involved, but he seems determined to hound me with grim implacability. I'm going to scream. Okay, gently exit the conversation. Shut up. <laughs> That's very interesting. You increase your intrigue by one's only a slim chance. Or we could just grim and bear it. He gets a 40% opinion of us and we get a weak hook on him. Is he someone who's even important to us? Not really. So, hmm. Game one diplomacy lifestyle perk. Let's go with that. Gently exit. Um, oh, that, that was good. We gained a diplomacy perk. Uh, inspiring rule. Monthly prestige per powerful vassal on the council, plus four. Firm hand, monthly prestige per dread, plus four. Fortful, opinion gain from send gift, plus 100%. Befriend, you can use the befriend scheme, unlock the challenge to board game interaction, allowing you to play friendly games. Groom to rule, children receive one to three extra skill points. Groom to rule. Let's go with that one for now. The banquet hall is dressed in a riot of colours, scents and sights. Only the very rarest fabrics and flowers are absent from the garb. Near my seat, both Lord Owen and Lord Vortimer, oh, not Lord Vortimer again, share their opinions on the decorations. I don't know how you can't love all of this, Chortles Owen. Look at the length that we're, that, that we're gone to. Phew, <laughs> Vortimer huffs. It's a waste of good potential. There's plenty to gaze at here. Why not take it further? You are a prick, Lord Vortimer. Impatient, arrogant, and oh, you, you, you're certainly arrogant, mate. I'll give you that. Um, don't get involved. Let's improve Lady Arwen's opinion of us. Another 15, that's 45 now, plus the lack of stress. And we've had a newborn daughter uh, with a tidy, yet blissful smile. Meredith presents me with a perfect little daughter. One day, child, you will carry on my legacy. What name should befit you? Um, hmm. A good Reachman name, or after an ancestor. 
Livia, Meredith, Liza, Livia. Lanes, Meredith. Liza it was our mother's name. So we'll go with that. May you grow to be strong and wise, my daughter. Every wedding banquet is host to a frankly interminable, uh, interminable a number of speeches. Some long, some short, some honest, some deceptive. Roy, uh, roiling up and down the hall, punctuating every course of the feast in waves. As my turn nears, I am left wondering, should I consider the happy couple or simply try to grab attention for my wordplay? After all, it's easy for double meanings to get lost for most in the sea of words. Praise the happy couple is expected. Show off your or, 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 oratory skills. Say something sweet but perfunctory. Uh, we lose stress. Eleanor Caswell gains 10% opinion of us. Oliver Oakheart gains 10% opinion of us. Praise them both. They both gain 30% opinion of us. Or show your oratory skills. Uh, every landing activity, every landed activity guest gains twenty percent opinion of Lady Arwen. But the couple go against us, so we'll go with the top one. We'll praise the couple and gain thirty percent opinion on them both. Betrothed can marry. Go in old flowers and Elena Ashford. Yes, let's get that wedding out of the way. To the modest men, I gladly accept your marriage proposal. Your brother Gowen and my daughter Delena will be joined in holy matronary. May the seven who are one grant them long life and many children. I'm guessing he'll return home soon. I wonder how he's turned out and if Lord Ashford managed to do anything with him. It was probably too late, to be honest. Feels like I've been eating, drinking, mingling, dancing and singing for days. Soon the celebrations will wind down and spouses will retire to their private chambers for the consummation of the wedding. For us who remain, though, let's pour another drink and let's toast to the spouses. It's time. Let's have a look. Did our younger brother gain any? He became a trained fighter and a reaver. Interesting. So he did do something with him. Okay. Not bad. I'm fairly happy with that. Is our other brother a better fighter yet? A skilled fighter. He's not had any children yet. He's still betrothed. Ah, oh, yes. Yeah, still betrothed. She can't wed dust yet. Grand wedding into the night. The newlyweds have taken their leave, consigned by the families to the bedchamber to consummate their union. The rest of us return to the banquet hall to make merry and celebrate. To the luxurious castle uh, we've spent the evening in, and I can't help but think of which things wouldn't be missed by their owners. The rest of the evening is mine to spend how I wish. No better time to rifle through the chambers, gain 12 gold, lose stress. I've been meaning to talk to Mathis. Is that Mathis, Mathis Rowan? Yes. Uh, you grow closer to forming a friendship with Lord Mathis Rowan. My presence here today must not be overshadowed. Gain prestige. Let's see what the servants have overheard tonight. You will learn someone's secret. We lose 33% stress because we're deceitful. Uh, no, let's um, form a better friendship with Mathis Rowan. That would be a good friendship to have. A very good friendship to have indeed. It's a shame that we couldn't get that alliance with Lady Arwen, but we have made... A better friendship uh one after the other all guests are leaving and it's time for me to depart too the wedding was a great occasion to mingle with my peers and relax and i abandoned the premise tired and satisfied sending my best wishes to the spouses for my pr uh, prosperous and happy union congratulations again um nice a lady arwen gains 10 percent opinion of everyone attending perfect the grand wedding has concluded lady arwen gains 600 prestige nice finished grand wedding and we will return ourselves home and with that we will um, end the first episode of this new series guys so thank you all so much for watching as always i really hope that you did enjoy if you did please don't forget to comment down below and leave a like it really helps me out and i'd really appreciate it and don't forget to join the discord server if you haven't already we'd love to have more of you guys there thank you once again and i'll see you all very soon for the next episode